Hi, my name is Kyle Chang. I'm with Kidney Journeys. Today I want to talk about UF versus total UF. Stay tuned to find out the differences. Thanks again for joining me at Kidney Journeys today. On uh, peritoneal dialysis, there is a UF versus total UF that you're concerned with. It's a little bit different than when you do the hemodialysis because on hemo, mainly they just talk about UF. So peritoneal dialysis, UF, is ultrafiltration. Ultrafiltration means the excess fluids you take out above your fill volume. So if you have a two liter bag that you're doing for manual CAPD, that is your fill volume for that exchange, when you drain that out, the effluence and the drain should accumulate some volume. And that volume should be at least the same as that two liter you put in or greater. If it's greater, it means it's pulling excess fluids out. Now, ideally, you do want your UFs to be greater than your fill volume, with some exceptions. If you still urinate a lot, if you still have high re residual functions in your kidneys, you may have better urine production. Now, the total fluid intake varies, and then this is where we talk about total UF. So we talked about UF just now, which is the individual exchange on one single exchange. A lot of folks use the cycler. So when you use the cycler, there are multiple exchanges. You may have four to six, maybe seven exchanges, depending on the results of your PET test, the peritoneal equilibrium test that you get while you're doing training or during the first month of doing peritoneal dialysis. So when you have all the exchanges and all the US accumulated for the total treatment on your cycler treatment overnight, that end number on your cycler for UF is actually the total UF. So the, the total UF is the accumulation of all UFs for all exchanges. Now, you could also have total UF if you do multiple manual exchanges during the day. If you have um, four or five manual exchanges with CAPD, you would add all those up to get your total UF. Most log sheets for uh, clinical treatment is they just identify individual UF if you're doing manuals. If you're doing log sheet tracking, uh, they would just go with the UF number at the end of your cycle of treatment. Some new cyclers will identify day UF versus a treatment nighttime UF, like the Baxter Amia. They said nighttime UF because when they designed the system, they basically said that you only do the cyclers at night while you sleep. As a lot of you may or may not know, the cycler treatments you could do throughout the day on peritoneal dialysis. So I could do peritoneal dialysis cycle treatments during the day if I'm working at home or overnight when I'm sleeping, whatever works for you on your schedule. So that's one of my favorite things about PD is you have a bit of flexibility of doing it when you need to do it at home, depending on your own schedule. Most patients do handle their treatments at night on the cycler so that they can sleep during treatment and then wake up and then go out about their day or work or go to school, whatever works for you. Again, that's the difference between UF and total UF. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any other questions, please do comment below. If you have other tips about your total UF that you can share with other folks, do comment below as well. Now, if this is the first time that you are here with me on this channel, please do hit the subscribe button and do your treatments so that you can do the things you love with the folks you'd love to do it with. Thanks for joining me at Kidney Journeys.